Hey, Alan here for Old English Outfitters. You know, bigger guns are fun to shoot, and usually they're very easy to shoot, but sometimes it's fun to shoot small stuff, especially small stuff that's a little different than some of the other small stuff. This is a Beretta Tomcat. Now, Beretta has a series of these types of pistols. They're a tip-up barrel pistol, which we'll explain in just a minute. They have a 22 caliber version called the Bobcat. Uh, I don't know if they still make it. They used to make one in 25 ACP. Well, then they've got this one, the Tomcat. This one's 32 ACP. So not a super powerful cartridge by any means, uh, but nothing to sneeze at. I mean, 32 ACP had been carried for years and years by people as concealed weapons because you can put it in a really small pistol like this. Tip-up barrel pistol. What does that mean? Well, these are very different than some of the other guns that are out there. They are not a locked breech gun. They're a blowback operated gun. So the only thing that keeps the slide shut is the recoil springs that are in the gun. When the cartridge fires, the force of the cartridge pushes the slide back and causes it to operate. It is semi-automatic. The tip of barrel feature, the barrel itself actually tips up. There's a little lever right there. When you push that lever forward, it tips the barrel up. Now this particular version of the Tomcat, there are a few different ones. This particular one has a threaded barrel. So you could take this protector off and you could put a suppressor on there and you'd have a really, really quiet pistol. 32 ACP is probably not gonna break the sound barrier anyway. So you have a really quiet gun. But this tip of barrel feature means that you never have to pull the slide back, which on this pistol is kind of convenient because the slide's small, kind of hard to get a hold of. And if you've got the hammer down where, where, that, where you've got to push against the hammer spring also, it's not real easy to pull. Well, with this setup, you don't have to. So if you're somebody who has strength issues or something, you have a hard time pulling a slide back, or maybe it's just mechanically a little challenging for you, this is pretty easy. So what you do here is, you've got a magazine, hold seven rounds, put the magazine in the butt, loaded, pop the barrel up, put one round in the barrel, and then just push the barrel down. From here, the pistol will operate semi-automatically, one shot each time you pull the trigger until it's empty. Now, a couple interesting things about this gun. Slide does not lock open. So when the magazine's empty, it's just, if you continue to pull the trigger, you're just gonna get a click. Hammer's gonna drop and that's gonna happen. Slide does not lock open. No real provision for that. This thing's kind of small, although it's a little bit thick for compared to some other similar guns. But slide won't lock open. So when that happens, you just have to, you know, shift gears or do something else. The magazine release on this is over here. So you're not gonna do any probably quick speed magazine reloads with this gun. Really not its intention. You got seven rounds in a magazine, you got one in a chamber, you got eight rounds full up. You fire those eight and you're probably gonna do something else, okay? A word about those eight. <clears throat> we had a little trouble with this magazine and I'm pretty confident simply because it's everything's new. We would, get, we would load it full up with eight, we'd get the first shot and then the slide would stop not because it's locked open, it just hung up on the bullet in the magazine. That got better as we went along. We didn't shoot a ton of rounds, but it got better. My suspicion is that the magazine just needs to set loaded for a little bit so that spring relaxes just a little, not put so much upward pressure, everything will work. So not real worried about that. This is a double action hammer fired pistol, but because of how it's built, you can operate a double action, okay? So you just pull the trigger, right? Or, after you've pulled it a few times, or if you just want to manually cock it, you've got a safety over here that you can engage. So you could carry this in this manner, cocked and locked. So then all you'd have to do would be sweep the safety off, and you've got a really short single action trigger there. The double action trigger is not terribly bad, but it is a little heavy and it's a little long. Mostly it's a little heavy. So if you wanted to, to eliminate that and have that nice trigger pull each time, just cock the hammer and engage the safety. You're not going to be able to see this probably. I want to pull this back a little bit here. But if you look at this gun, if you pull, if you do pull the slide open and you take a close look, you'll notice something very interesting. It doesn't have an extractor. What? Yes, it doesn't have an extractor. Got an ejector, doesn't have an extractor. And for those of you who are new to this, the extractor is a little claw piece that pulls the cartridge out of the chamber. 
the ejector is a little piece that sticks up on the side of the gun and as it's pulling it out, it, the, the back end of the empty casing strikes that ejector and it levers it off and throws it out of the gun. Got an ejector, but no extractor. Doesn't need one. Reason it doesn't need one is because 32 ACP, which is what this shoots, is a semi-rimmed cartridge. You've got rimmed cartridges, you've got rimless cartridges, and you've got semi-rimmed cartridges. What's the difference? Think of a 38 special round. You've got a very large rim that's bigger all the way around than the actual diameter of the casing itself. You got rimless cartridges, which most semi-auto cartridges are, 9mm, 45 ACP, stuff like that. You look at them, you can see there's a rim, but the rim itself is the same diameter as the casing. And it's it's uh, you've got it's kind of rebated in there so that extractor can grab that rim and pull it out. 32 ACP is semi-rimless. The rim is a little bit bigger than the diameter of the casing, but not much. Because it's a little bit bigger, it just sits in that tip of barrel, just sits in there, doesn't drop through. And because of how this gun operates, the force of the cartridge runs the slide, you don't really need an extractor. As soon as everything starts to move, the casing itself is going with it, pushing the slide, pushes the slide back till it hits the ejector, pops it out of the gun. Very interesting. Now this particular setup has wood grips, we got really low profile fixed sights. They're black. <clears throat> Remember, this is intended as a close quarters defensive pistol. You're likely not going to be shooting targets at 25 or 30 yards with it. You're likely going to be shooting targets, probably man-sized targets, at reasonably close range, maybe 10 feet, maybe less, something like that. So you don't necessarily need precision sights. If you need to, you could always put some sort of color paint on the sight, front or back or both which would give you a little more visibility. The thumb safety is set up for a right-hander only, right there. It is very positive, up and down. Got a little red dot that's kind of visible when it's in the down and off position. The hammer is, uh, the hammer's kind of commander size, so I got a hole in the center of it, right? So you don't have a hook, so it's not going to bite you. When you actually pull the hammer open, you notice it stops right there. You got a little bit of a beaver tail, so you don't typically get hammer bite. This thing's small enough with a kind of a normal grip. You might find yourself up on the slide. Uh, I tried it a couple ways when we were shooting it. I actually set my made sure I was down below the slide. I also just kind of cut my thumbs like that on something real small like this. Sometimes that's a helpful technique so you're not getting in the way of the moving parts of the gun. Thirty-two ACP is, is recoil in this is very negligible, not much at all. Uh, accuracy was pretty good. We hit what we shot at with it. We didn't try to shoot at anything small, but what we were shooting at, the bullets went where we wanted them to go. Um, people may scoff at thirty-two ACP. And you've heard many trainers say, well, you know, 380 is the lowest we want to go. Okay. Well, the general rule is you go with the most powerful cartridge that you can effectively control. If 32 ACP is all you can effectively control, it's better than 25 ACP by a pretty good margin. And as I always tell people, a lot depends on what you do with whatever you have. This can be effective if it's used effectively. And like anything else, no matter what it is, it can be very ineffective if you use it ineffectively, okay? So this comes down to understanding the limitations of the gun and the cartridge, training to make sure you're maximizing its strengths and minimizing its weaknesses, okay? All right, the Beretta Tomcat 32 ACP, very interesting little pistol. Little, not necessarily light, it's all metal, uh, but pretty cool little gun. We kind of had a lot of fun shooting it. Fun to shoot very different things, and you shoot a lot of big stuff. Sometimes it's fun to go to smaller things. Okay, well, uh, that's all we have for today. We appreciate you watching very much. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Alan Froling, the Shoutfitters. <laughs>